Hello, this is uh, Kevin from pythondiary.com and uh, today, this is my first YouTube video I'm posting on the Python Diary YouTube page. I have other videos as well, but they're from quite a long time ago and they're for different things. Now this video here, we're going to focus on the Twitter API and I'm going to show you how to make a simple holiday greeting to all your friends and all your followers using the Twitter API. It's a great example on how you can use the Twitter API to grab tons of information from. Uh, from the twi from your Twitter account. Okay, for this example, I already have my token and everything already in. Yep, so you can see my token, my token secrets there, and then we have my consumer key and consumer secrets there. So, and we're, I'll be using B Python as well, which is a great uh, tool just to for auto completion. Auto completion won't work past a certain point for certain things, uh, just because of this Twitter API that I'm using doesn't have pro doesn't have full introspection because of how. How the API act, how the API has been coded in. Okay, so um, first you're going to want to uh, do a pip install Twitter, which basically installs this here. It installs Twitter. So after you do that, you'll have you'll be able to import Twitter into your uh, into your Python. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to, you want to authenticate using the Twitter API. So you you create a variable called auth for the authentication tokens. Auth equals Twitter dot oauth. Then we just do, pass our token, our token secret, our consumer key, and our consumer secret. We pass all of those, press enter, and then we create our actual Twitter object, which I will call T just to make it quicker and easier for typing in typing in the code. So we go Twitter. You use the Twitter class, and here's the, here's what the Twitter class comes with. You can change the format from JSON, I'm guessing, to maybe XML, but I don't think XML is supported exactly. Because looking at the Twitter website and your APIs, I don't see anything but JSON available there. So I think JSON is as, as much as you can go. Then the domain, I'm keep it as the default for most applications. Of course, I don't know. There could be like a sandbox API you can try just for stuff, but I'm not too sure. I have never worked with any other any other one but that. Secure is to go through HTTPS and auth is what we are passing through here. So auth equals auth. Keyword argument and then press enter and ta-da! Now when you, now the next command is t.account. We're going to do account and we're going to verify the credentials to confirm that we're all logged in. Uh, verify credentials. Right? enter and you'll notice it brings in lots and lots and lots of stuff which is essentially past uh, tweets and other stuff and then we're going to create a, a blank array or a blank list I guess you would call it called people call it, we're just going to call people because this is going to this list is going to contain everybody's going to contain all our all our all of our followers and everybody who's following us it'll contain both a list of everything so then we're going to use we're going to use the variable d for our description for our uh, dictionary for these. So we're going to go d equals t, which is the Twitter API dot friends dot list. This will grab the friends list. Take a few seconds, and there we go. And if you actually look at this for a moment, we'll go we'll just type in d and just look at it quickly. Actually, it's the bad way of doing it. We'll go d dot keys. Show all the keys for it, right? So what we have here is if we go to uh, we go d dot for example uh, previous cursor you'll see it's zero because there's no previous we can go to if you go d dot next cursor you'll see an, an item I will see have an integer for the next cursor we're gonna, we can grab which I'll be explaining in a few seconds how that works and then if we go to we go to the users key you get to see all the users in this current cursor if you actually check the length, it should be exactly 20 unless you have less than 20 people uh, that are following you. So I have more, I have like quite a few, so it's going to be 20 for this one, just like that. And then if you actually want to look at see how the, how the formatting is, like to, for example, to, uh, to grab a user's screen name, you can go user and then zero and then screen name. Which in that case is Shroud, Shroud of the Avatar, which I'm follow, which is one I'm which so, which is someone I'm following. It's for a new MMO coming out based on the Ultima universe, which Garrett has been creating. Do check do check out his project on uh, 
on Kickstarter if you get a chance. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, project that he's, that he's uh, continuing on. Okay, anyways, we're going to um, continue on here. So we have our dictionary in the D for the for entire friends list, everybody, everybody we're following. So now we're going to do a very uh, crude loop. So while true, we're going to go for user in D users. Then we're going to go people dot append user. That's all we need, just the screen name. User screen name. Then enter. And then we're going to go if D next cursor equals equals zero, meaning there's no more nothing nothing else available. Then we just break out of this loop. If there is something else available, then we then we reuse the dictionary variable. We go t dot friends dot list, and then we go cursor equals d next. Oops, next cursor, just like that, and we press enter, and then enter and then enter. Take a few seconds, and then now if we go into the people. Uh, list here we created. There's everybody there. That's a list of everybody more than which is going to be more than 20. And this should be everybody that I'm that uh, I'm currently following, which is only 55. If you look at my Twitter account, there should be about 55 at the current moment as this recording is done. And now we're going to grab a list of all the followers. This is actually very very simple to grabbing um, a list of the friends. It's actually incredibly similar. We're just instead of using friends dot list, we're using followers dot list. So. First, we're going to start off with a with a basic query d equals t dot followers dot list. So grab all your followers. Now we go while true for user in the, our dictionary users people dot append user screen name. Okay, and then now we go if our dictionary next cursor equals zero, then we break out again, same as before. Next cursor, because what followers.list is brings back is the exact same type of information that your friends.list brought back. Then we just break out, and then we do this again. We run through it again with our followers.list with our we we pass over our cursor. Now if we go length up people, there should be quite a few here. Should be 156. Oh, 100, 118. Ah, close. Now if we go people, we should see everybody. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna, make, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna go people dot sort dot reverse. Can't do that so easily. So people dot sort, and then people dot reverse. You'll see why I'm doing reverse in a second, because now if we go people, everything is basically uh, reversed here. What we have is we have everything from this person all the way up to this person, which is reverse. So when we do it, when we do a people dot pop, what we'll get is we'll get this. So I'm going to do a small example here. We're going to go p equals people dot pop, which is going to grab number A. And we're going to put that we're going to put that back for you know you know people that depend. Okay. So with that, now I'm going to show you how you can send off a message, a Twitter message to all of these people. If you'd like you can continue you can continue with this this for another applicate for a completely different application. But in this example we're going to be able to send a Twitter message to all these people. But just for the sake of this example, since I don't want to uh, send the message to all these people, I, I'm Kind of want to, but at the same time, I don't want to kind of go through my limits in that for the Twitter API. So I don't think I am. <laughs> I'll just uh, show you. I'll just go through how it could be done, and yeah, let's. I'll just go that is that far, and that's it. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create an, we're gonna create another uh, a nested while loop here. So we're gonna go while the length of people is greater than zero. We're going to create a new a new string with called message, 
which we're going to empty at, it, at every iteration of this variable. Then here's another while loop here, while true. I, 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 I'm very bad with crude loops, but you know. <laughs> then we're going to do a try block here because we kind of have to make sure that this doesn't, that this, you know, when we do a pop, it's, it's there, there's a potential that we won't have anything. So we have to kind of catch that. And then we're going to use another variable called old message. We're going to store the message over there just in case something happens. Um, this makes it freaking revert back to the old message. You'll see in a second why I'm doing that exactly because it just makes it more cleaner in the end for the actual, how the actual the coding gets done there. So we go message plus equals. Then we use the at sign. The at sign is Twitter's thing of referencing a username with the dot s. Then we do a space and then that p. So what this does is it basically adds the next user into the message. So our message ends up being a huge list of all these users we have up there. And then we do, then we put our accept here, accept index error, and we just do a pass because we don't have to worry about doing anything with that. Okay, next we go if length, and we just confirm the length of our message, which is going to be happy holidays. You can put any message you like, really, like happy anything, or happy. that with our message. If it's greater than 140, because Twitter has a 140 character limit, so you have to kind of check. You have to be able to split up all these users into separate messages, because you can't reference all the users. You could reference them completely separately, but then Twitter might think that's a duplication problem, and and you'll get in trouble, I guess. I don't know how Twitter does, all, does its spam stuff, but to prevent Twitter from touching a spam, you want to sort of do this. Cl put every, clump as many users into one message as possible. And then after that, we just go people. So if a message is larger, then it can fit this new user. Then we just append our new per we just we put the person back in the stack. That that's why we're using people.pop, because we're gonna just put the person back in the stack if the you know if they're still if their messages it can't fit that user in there. And then we go uh, message equals this is where our old message comes in comes into play. Happy holidays with our old message. So this basically it takes the one before because right now the mess the, the the other message there, the current version of it with all those users, act has it's over forty it's over our hundred and forty limit. But uh, but the one before this iteration actually was in the R was in the one forty limit, so it's perfectly fine. So we can use the old message for that. And then we just do a break because we're all done in this one. Then we're going to do an else if here because we need to make sure that we actually break out of the loop if people if the length of people equals zero or we or will be an infinite loop here. So if the length of people equals zero, then we're also going we're going to then we're going to return the message of happy holidays again, happy holidays with our old message, and then we're going to break, and then we're going to print our message. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll first tell you how you could do the Twitter version, but I won't. I won't actually process it. We're gonna go. If you go, if you go t dot statuses dot update status equals message. This is how you would uh, process this entire. This, this is how you would send the, basically this Twitter message to all these people. In the end, I counted. I counted them, and it's about it's about fifteen messages in total, and I don't really don't want to send fifteen. Twitter messages that say happy holidays like that. So it's just kind of more of a spam, but as I say, it's an example. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a print message. We're going to see how it looks. And then there it is. That's an example of how you can use the Twitter API to send mass messages to everybody you know. So as you can tell, it's done everything perfectly fine. And they're all in proper alphabetical order too, which is also very nice. So when everybody's kind of all grouped up nicely and it looks, it just looks good. But yeah, that's an example on how to use the Twitter API to fetch all of your followers, all the people you're following, and uh, send them a mass message. And but I wouldn't recommend using this uh, unless you kind of have a good reason to, like and say if you have uh, other purposes or the best thing, best way to use this kind of script would be to get a list of all your followers and fo and people you're following and try to and generate something else in regards to that. Because you wouldn't want to probably run this kind of script in the first place unless you really don't have many followers or, or following many people.
this really comes down to what you want to do with it. Anyways, um, that's the end of this video. So hopefully, that, hopefully that helps you with me in any, any future project. And this has been uh, Kevin from PythonDiary.com. Have yourself a great day. Bye bye.